It's been quite a while since I've made a video on YouTube all about how to YouTube, but it's gone on just over two years now where I purchased this camera, the one that you're watching me on right now, and decided to make my first YouTube video. And I've stuck to a pretty rigid schedule of at least one video every single week. So I've made over a hundred videos now. So today I wanted to share with you my YouTube studio setup. I am at one desk in a small part of my house, uh, sitting in, in the garage of, of our house. And I wanted to break it down for you and talk about the equipment that you might be able to get or use if you're just getting started, along with all the additional things that I've purchased over the past two years. So stick around, you're not gonna wanna miss this. So you heard right, being a YouTuber honestly is sometimes as easy as just getting a good cell phone. I mean, the phones are so good right now and making sure you have some like decent lighting, holding the phone out like selfie style and hitting record. You know, a lot of people say just hit record. That's the hardest thing. But I'm gonna get into uh, all the fancy lighting and the cameras and some of the sound equipment. So real quick, don't forget to drop a like for this video. And if you wanna know more about YouTubing, please join our private Discord group. It is completely free and I'd love to keep the conversation going over there. So let's do a little split screen here, okay? I'm gonna, I'm gonna grab my phone and kind of record what I see and give you a tour, but I'll keep me over here just to kind of narrate. Uh, so here we go. So here's what I see when I'm recording. I've got the laptop, I've got the camera, and I've got a, uh, like a, like a whole desk set up. And yeah, you know what guys, this is all like at one desk, literally a chair. I'll explain all the equipment in, in a second, but I want to point out that you can do this all from like one desk. So there I am. This is an old like Sony TV that my, hi, um, that my, my in-laws gave me. I mounted it up there. I use it as a monitor. It's way too big, but kind of going on the other side of the camera, as you can see, like there's our, there's our little dog. Um, he won't leave me alone. So he's in most of the videos too, at some point. Uh, that's me. I'm just sitting in the chair at the desk recording, but I'll give you a tour of the garage too. Um, as you back up, it's a real, it's a real garage. Okay. That, that door leads to our backyard. We've got some storage. It's like a, a pantry. We've got a freezer, uh, you know, some kids toys. We got some storage, our little bar area. Let's go Buffalo. Um, you're going to see, I got that one light down there and the bar has some led lights underneath it to kind of look real good in, in, the, in the YouTube videos. We got the couch, the play area, that light that can change, you know, based, it's like an Alexa light. I got like a backdrop cloth for the corner section. We got some workout equipment. This is like a real house. You know, this is like where we actually live. Uh, you know, elliptical, spin bike, uh, treadmill. Uh, and then from afar, that's the setup. It's all in one corner. So if you've got a small corner in your house, you've got like an extra room, you can use this, that space to, to create YouTube videos, hundreds of them. But let's talk equipment. I'm going to kind of like zoom in on the actual equipment that I have, but I'll also throw up the Amazon listing. Prices like fluctuate and change, but literally like everything I've got here uh, is, is, is from Amazon. And I'll leave a link down below in the description to all of this so that you could take a look at like uh, my YouTube creator resources. I'll even kind of group it together like a, like a starter set, you know, because you don't need all this stuff I'm about to show you to get started. But as you begin to expand and find what works for you, I'll, uh, you know, I'll share with you, you know, some of the stuff that I paid a little bit extra for. All right. So let's take a look at the camera first. We got to talk cameras, right? I decided to go with the Canon M50. It comes with a kit lens and this is a, a really light, easy to use camera. I wouldn't say point and shoot. You got to learn some of the settings, but I did buy uh, a special lens for it. Now I know there's this, uh, you know, Sigma lenses that people talk about, but the one that I ended up getting is going to be like a 22 millimeter. You know, I, I got it because it's, it's, it's like pancake thin instead of like heavy and, and, uh, you know, it's not, it's not cheap, but I think it does a really nice, like wide shot. Now, right here, I'm pointing at the microphone input. I have a wired mic. It is a Boya and it is super, super affordable. 
Um, basically, uh, if you have a cell phone, you can use this mic, uh, a smartphone, or you can wire it into a camera. You just need some like watch batteries. The other thing that I've done is I've connected the camera directly to my laptop. That allows me to record directly to the computer, literally just turn on the computer, turn on the camera, point and shoot and go. Uh, but it also allows me to use this camera as a webcam. I just figured out how to do that. I got a lot of help from other YouTubers who kind of have either come on over or, you know, we DM on Instagram and they, they kind of help me figure out how to do that. Now, as you can see here, we got so many different things that actually connected to the computer. I tried to do a little cord organization. Some people I'm sure appreciate that. A dongle, we've got another dongle, we've got a, a USB hub, phone chargers, laptop, a stand, uh, you know, I've got a keyboard, wireless mouse, a case, because I take this computer, you know, to work. But, oh, here's that microphone I was talking about. I'm actually using it right now in this video as I'm recording. And you can see, I'll kind of point to it here, there's a little like on off switch. And again, this plugs right into the camera, but also you can plug it into the smartphone. You don't even like need a battery for it. So if you're worried about like sound, but all, all you have to use right now is uh, a smartphone, then I suggest getting something like this. Oh, let's talk about lighting, okay? I've got these two lights up here. They, they really put out some, some really solid light. You can adjust the yellows, the, the whites. They do plug in, but they also could take batteries. And what I like about these are that they're super small. They're like transportable. Now I never move them. They're on these tripods. Again, I'll leave a link down below to the lights, the tripods, everything. But you can kind of see how you're gonna look at other YouTube studio setup videos. They have these like giant lights with these like fins. Maybe it almost looks like an umbrella. And I just, I like these. It's, they, they put out some good light. So I've got the two lights, one kind of lighting this side of my face and then the other one almost like making sure my hair doesn't blend in with the background. Point out a couple other things. We've got, you know, the phone charger like I mentioned. Um, but, oh, I actually have an old webcam that like we don't actually use anymore because I got, you know, the, the laptop. I've got the, the, the actual camera I can use. Again, there I am. That if I, could, if I could do one thing a little bit differently, I'd probably get a smaller monitor here. Um, some of the equipment you can see is a little bit in the way. Sometimes the lights get in the way. This lamp is actually pretty cool. Um, you can adjust the colors. It actually charges the phone. I've got the headphones. I've been using those recently for interviews. I mentioned I can use the camera for like Zoom calls. And I got a really cool new microphone and that was kind of the impetus for this video. So um, this boom arm, super, super expensive in my opinion. Uh, you, overkill, it's a Rode boom arm. You could get a much more affordable one, but with this nice mic, believe it or not, I actually had the boom arm uh, before for like an old po podcast that I used to do. And I've always wanted this microphone and we just now finally got it because I want to do more collaborations, you know, talk to other YouTubers, get them on the show. So check this thing out. So this is the Shure SM7B. And it's a very professional microphone. You gotta be like right up on it, hence the boom arm. And uh, you know, take a look here. Like it looks really cool when you're doing interviews and um, it actually kind of is necessary because I can't use this, this wireless mic or this wired mic when I'm uh, doing an interview. It, it doesn't actually connect the way you need it to. So I'm gonna take you down below here. I actually have a soundboard down here. It's all set. Again, it's from my old podcast days. Not necessary, but something would be necessary if you have a professional microphone. And we also have a printer down there. Like, it, you know, storage is tight. So as you can see, we just sort of cram, not cram, but organize everything into one, one space. Now, as I'm recording this live, I haven't added all the, the numbers up, but I mentioned we'll do like a starter set. So this is the cost if you just got like the camera and... I'm going to say the lights too, because like it's really going to set you apart. So this is the starter cost for the camera with the kit lens and the lights. I might throw in a few of like the, you know, connector cables or, you know, that Boya microphone. In terms of some of the more expert or advanced, um, this would be the price. And as you can see, it's, it's a bit more steep, but that's simply because you have auxiliary equipment, things you don't even actually use every day, but the, the lens that's wider 
gets that like uh, blurry background going right here. You've got the professional sounding mic for when you're doing you know business calls or if you know you are doing collaborations or interviews. A couple other things I didn't even really mention, like the actual computer. I'm working with a MacBook Pro, for example, and I'll include that in the expert setup, like not the cost, but like in the list. Uh, but, you know, I actually was using a, a Windows computer when we first started and editing the videos, the video editing software, it would take so long to render. It, it, Eventually it just kind of froze and stopped working. So you just sort of keep learning and adjusting. For those of you out there that feel like you've, you're paying for tons of subscriptions for, for different things too, I, I'm in that exact same boat. But you know, you, you learn, it's okay to sort of like say goodbye to some things and then you know, reward yourself or, or invest in the future of what your channel is gonna be with getting better equipment. But I'd love to hear what you think. So please leave me a comment down below, even if it's just saying hi. I would appreciate the encouragement. This is not like a finance related video. It's not personal finance. So I'd love to hear from you. Also, if you're new to the channel, please don't forget to hit subscribe and ring that notification bell. All right, as always, I'm Rich, and until next time.